My name's Heather Tyre. That's T-H-E-U-R-E-R. And it's uh, German, so no one ever gets it right, but that's all right. I don't expect any of you to. Well, I was born back east in Virginia. And when I was very young, my parents moved to Salt Lake City and I lived there until I was about 11. And then we moved to the countryside up in Paradise, Utah, which is in northern, it's south of Logan, but it's in Cache Valley area. And so I grew up in very rural and um, enjoyed it. I learned to enjoy it and I really got involved in doing wildlife and um, painting wildlife and things like that for a long time because of living rural. My mom always told me that when I was younger, she could tell when I was in my own world. And she said, you were in your own world pretty much your, own, your whole childhood. And um, that's the way I lived my life. If someone would have given me a Harry Potter closet, I would have been happy to stay there. That would have been my area that was just mine, you know, and I would have been happy. In fact, I made those kinds of things for myself. Um, I had my own closet that I would hide in and do my own stuff and draw my pictures underneath my clothes, you know, as it hung above me. Why I do what I do? You know what, that's changed over the years. I'll just put it out there because it's who I am and I, I can't be afraid to say who I am. I do what I do because God wants me to do it. And that's my motto. If I'm not doing what God wants me to do, then I'm going to quit. This is for FantasyCon. Joshua Patel, got, he claims he tried to contact me a few years ago. I don't ever remember it, but he says that I was push, putting him off. Like I didn't want to have anything to do with him, but I don't ever remember him trying to get hold of me. Anyway, that's his claim. Josh is great. He's a fantastic guy. I love him. He's really awesome. <laughs> but when he came into my booth, I thought he was totally BSing me. Okay, because he got there and he's just talking about buying this painting and that painting and all this stuff he's gonna do. And I'm like, uh huh. You just are a big talker, aren't you? And then he says, okay, and I want to buy six or seven pieces. I said, really? Like originals? You're serious? He's like, yeah. Okay. He walked away. He says, I'll go get a cashier's check for you for the whole amount. I said, okay, whatever. See you later. I was thinking he's just gonna walk away like all the others do. And sure enough, he came back and I was shocked. And that's how I got involved in FantasyCon. It's a series of sorts, although they're not strictly related to each other, but they had, each year I did a subsequent painting that kind of followed the same theme with the dragons and the angels. So this is the latest one. I think it'll probably be the last one because it's the fifth. And um, each one of them had something to do with uh, kind of the human experience. Like that one was the feeling of being tempted and not always necessarily for bad things, but sometimes good things can be a temptation too. That was the first one. And then there was another one that, was about the struggles that we go through um, where you're kind of fighting against all the horrible things that are around you in the world and how you can make it through. Um, that they just kept going and all of these experiences that we kind of experienced. So this is the, the last one and this is the one called Triumph. This is the overcoming them all. This is the ultimate and receiving that final crown of glory, you know, and you've made it. But that's kind of the general theme is that receiving that final exalting moment where you've overcome all of them. I want people to look at the picture and know more about themselves. And by knowing more about themselves, make themselves better. And, and that's my goal.